procrastination. We are very good at it as runners, aren't we? And it's one of the best reasons to join a running club. Accountability, responsibility for your actions. Get out there and run at a certain time with a group. But I've been sitting in the house for two hours trying to get myself out on this solo run. But I've made it out, finally. So this is my third week now of Paris Marathon training. Paris Marathon is on the 2nd of April and the goal is sub three hours, if we can. Lots of caveats to that. If it's too hot, that might be a problem. It's certainly not hot today, it's really cold. So I did 100 kilometers last week, 100 kilometers the week before. We're gonna do six weeks in total of 100 kilometers a week. That's about 62 miles. And then we'll do a ramp up like we did for the Lakeland 100 series. We're gonna build up and have maybe one or two 100 mile weeks by the end of the training block. So let's get on with it and talk about last week's training. Let's go in depth into heart rate zones into time on feet and into miles and kilometers covered. Monday is actually one of the tougher days of the week. Started off filming the first episode of the uh, Paris Marathon training series with a 16 kilometer, 10 mile run on the downs, followed by a track session in the evening where I had quite a successful run. So remember I said last week that I was feeling a little bit negative and uh, lacking in a bit of motivation and worrying about the fact that I'm trying to aim for a sub three hour marathon time. So my track session on Monday consisted of eight times three minutes. So I don't know if you've heard of the Yasu, Yasu 800 session. I've done plenty of videos on it before. And um, during these three minute reps, for seven of them, I managed to cover 800 meters, which is really bang on for a sub three hour marathon. If I can do 10 of those by the end of the training block, 10 800 meters in three minutes each, and we had a minute recovery on this session, well, that's, that's bang on. So that gave me a little bit of confidence and a little bit of positivity on Monday. So Monday was a double day and Tuesday was a double day, but they were very different. Monday was 25 kilometers. Tuesday was 10 kilometers split between the Zwift Film My Run 500 with Noble Pro on the treadmill and then a nice easy 6K in the evening on the treadmill on Zwift again. Whenever you hear me say I'm running on the treadmill, it's almost always on Zwift. Wednesday, on the other hand, was not a double day, but it was a hard day. So on the treadmill, on Zwift, Paris Marathon training sessions. And we did an hour long session it was about 12, 13 kilometers in total. So the session was like a combined under threshold, over threshold session and a ladder session at the same time. So that's now two hard sessions for the week. Monday's track session and Wednesday's treadmill run. Thursday was a lot easier. We did the Film My Run 500 on Zwift in the morning and then the uh, Bag That Badge session, which I lead on Zwift in the evening. And that came to about nine or 10 kilometers. Friday was a nice, easy session. Just 10K on the treadmill, low heart rate. And low heart rate for me is anything under 144-ish. So a double run day on Thursday, just one run on Friday, 
and then a double run on Saturday. So Saturday we did park run. As you know, I'm getting close to 200 park runs. So I'm trying to do a different park run every week until I get to 200. Seven more to go now. And we did Lloyd Park Run, which apparently is the toughest park run in London. So if you ever want to go and check um, Lloyd Park Run out, go and have a look at it. Muddiest, toughest park run in London. So we can count that as another hard effort. So that's three hard efforts for the week. And then Saturday evening was a nice relaxed 10K on Zwift. Sunday is long run day, so I went out with my club, we did a flat run, two hours for a half marathon on the flat, no hills this week, and uh, I was in zone two most of the way, but we did speed up a bit at the end, and so I was in zone three and four for a little bit towards the end, but I'm not going to count it as a hard run, it was a relatively comfortable effort. So I ended up with just under 104 kilometres for the week and that was split about 50 kilometres on the treadmill and 53 or so outside. And what you'll find is that as I start to increase my mileage, the treadmill miles will stay the same. So it's always going to be about 50k a week on the treadmill, but the outdoor running will increase. So if you watched episode one of these Paris Marathon Training Series videos, uh, which is linked up there, or is it up there? I don't know, one of the sides. <laughs> I never know which. Um, if you watched the first episode, you'll know I'm still trying to stick in general to the 80-20 principle of running. But because I'm training for a flat, fast road marathon, I am sticking in some harder efforts. So you should see me running in zones four and five a little bit more often and we can see that if we look at last week's stats so let's start by looking at the number of activities i did so i did 12 runs last week and of those 12 three of them i have counted as hard sessions sessions where i definitely get into zones four and five for a significant portion of the run. So three hard sessions, that is exactly 25%. So a quarter of all my sessions last week were hard efforts. But then I also like to break it down into how many kilometers I've run. So we did 103, 104 kilometers of running and about a quarter of that, just under a quarter of that was hard effort. So um, about 23%, 24% of my distance was a hard distance, hard effort, hard miles, hard yards, as the title of one of the ultra running films I watched last night was, hard yards. <laughs> and finally, we look at things in terms of heart rate zones. Now, you wouldn't expect me to have 20% of my efforts in zones four and five that would be an awful lot of running at uh, top zones but i did about 10 hours of running last week and 50 minutes or so of that was in zones four and five so that works out at about eight and a half percent so eight and a half percent of those 10 hours my heart was in zones four or five so that's pretty decent i think that's where i need to be to be training for a sub three marathon. Uh, we just need to make sure we're consistent, keep it up and then bump up the mileage later on in training block. Now, I don't currently have any races planned for this training block, but I am thinking about doing one or two. So certainly the Stenning Stinger marathon is on my mind. Uh, that's in March, so I might book myself in for that. And I'm certainly going to do at least one marathon paced half marathon. So at some point I will do a half marathon at marathon pace. If you missed episode one of these Paris Marathon Training Series videos, then that's linked just there. 
So go and watch that now. If you've enjoyed the content, if you found it useful or interesting, then please do subscribe to the Film My Run channel. It'll really help us out. I'm trying to grow. The next target is 12,000. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the start line next time. Bye-bye.